Chair now recognizes the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the ranking member just said that Joe, quote, Joe Biden was opposed to corruption. Really? So opposed, he leveraged a billion dollars of American tax money to fire the prosecutor in Ukraine who was investigating Zolachevsky at Burisma, the, the company Hunter Biden set on the board of. Wow. And the, and the prosecutor who replaced Shokin that Mr. Parnas referenced in his opening statement, Mr. Lutsenko, guess what he did? He took Zolachevsky off the wanted list and dropped the charges. Wow, he's really, really opposed to corruption there. Mr. Bobulinski, who's the big guy? Joe Biden. Are you sure about that? Because when Jordan, when, uh, Joe you're Biden. Sure? You're sure? I'm a thousand percent sure. Because when Hunter Biden did his deposition under oath, he said, "I don't know who it is," even though he was copied on an email that said, "H will hold 10 percent for the big guy." You sure it's the big guy? Is is Joe Biden? A thousand percent. And there's other text messages that back that up that the brave whistleblowers Shapley and Ziegler have produced. Not from my phones, not from my BlackBerry that I took screenshots from. They took them from subpoenas directly from Apple's iCloud that back up the fact that Hunter knew the big guy was Joe Biden. The big guy is the brand. The big guy is the lift. The big guy is the one who showed up at golf outings, who did took phone calls and meetings and lunches and dinners with Hunter Biden and his business associates. Is that right? Correct. <clears throat> Mr. Galanis, you referenced in your opening statement, May 4th, 2014, you were at a party at a restaurant in Brooklyn, New York. Can you tell me who else was there? Yeah, uh, the, it was a, a birthday party. Um, so there were more than 100 people there, but amongst them uh, was Devin Archer, myself, the host, Alex Kuklarski, uh, Yelena Baterna, her husband, uh, and then Hunter Byron joined. Uh, and and tell us, I, I, you, at, I think uh, you referenced a phone call that took place Tell us about, tell the committee what happened with that phone call. Who was, who was involved in that phone call? Uh, and, and as, I, as I testified uh, in my opening statement, it was uh, Yelena Batarina, um, uh, her husband, myself, uh, Hunter initiating it, uh, Joe Biden on the speakerphone, and Devin Archer. So there was a little pull aside where that group of people you just described were pull aside, pulled aside, and Hunter Biden called his father's, or called the vice president, is that accurate? That's accurate. And then tell me what, what was discussed on the call. Uh, the discussion I testified was, it was a relatively short discussion, but it was a discussion about their, uh, Yelena and Yuri uh, coming to town, um, that uh, as, I, as I testified specifically, they, they talked about uh, being good to his boy. And um, it was, uh, uh, was ended. Well, let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Mentioning that, Mr. Galan, let me ask you this. Did you get the impression yeah. Joe Biden was expecting the call? Yes, to me it was clearly set up ahead of time. It was an arranged call. So this was, this was arranged, this was coordinated. Hunter Biden calls his father, then vice president. And I think in your deposition you said he said this, I'm here with our friends that I told you were coming to town. So it's our friends and I told you this was going to happen, which suggests that it was most definitely coordinated. Is that accurate? That's accurate, yes. And again, Miss, uh, can you tell us, uh, tell the committee who Miss Batarina is again? Uh, a Russian billionaire, uh, wife of the former mayor of Moscow, served for near 20 years as the mayor. Um, she's, and she's, is, uh, she's the wealthiest um, woman in Russia. She'd already given he, money. Right. She'd already given money to Hunter Biden and his business before this uh, meeting in May, and then subsequent to that meeting, she committed to give more money. Is that accurate? That's accurate. So subsequent to the coordinated call, the arranged call that Hunter Biden had with the Vice President of the United States, the wealthiest woman in Russia commits to give millions of dollars more to Hunter Biden's business. Is that all accurate, Mr. Galanis? That is accurate, yes. And again, this, this was a pull aside done at this meeting and you think, and, and you know that it was coordinated. Is this, is this what they call, is this what they call access to the brand, access to the Biden lift? Is, is that what you would describe it as, Mr. Galanis? I don't think there's any doubt that that was the intent of the call and uh, the objective, yes. And it followed the motto. It followed the, the, the statement that you all agreed to, say it, forget it, 
write it, regret it. This wasn't put in writing. This was a phone call on a speaker that was all, there's no writing about this. It was all done that way. That was how the business operated. Is that correct, Ms. Grilanis? Yes. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Chair now recognizes who's next.